So you feeling fed up with your job or your career and want to change? Well, latest data and surveys show that the UK workforce is at a record level of dissatisfaction and disengagement. So you're not the only one. So you may be thinking, if I'm not the only one, well, maybe it is right for me to quit, change jobs and move on. So in this video, I'm actually gonna share why you may wanna reconsider actually quitting, a blueprint that you can adopt to release a new, fresh enthusiasm for your career whilst building your wealth on the side. And actually that like, this blueprint can be adopted no matter what age, background or job or industry you're in. But before I share the blueprint, let me reveal why you should reconsider actually quitting your job. So from my own experience working in the corporate world for one of the largest aerospace companies globally, there was several, actually three key reasons that really kept me satisfied and engaged. One was learning loads of skills, developing and growing, learning different skills, tangible skills, soft skills that helped me become a better person. Number two was actually given social value add. So in aerospace, you're seeing people fly from one destination to another. You're seeing so much help and value in terms of society, business, tourism, manufacturing. It was wonderful to see. But also on top of that, I was also part of helping with a huge amount of employment. For that company, they had nearly 40 to 50,000 workers globally. And when we looked through the supply chain, there was many hundreds of thousands also employed. So learning loads of skills, developing, making sure I was helping with the great society just really helped me engage. Now, when I speak to a lot of clients, eight out of 10 of them, started in their career because they had a passion for what they did. Maybe it was learning loads of skills, maybe it was also helping with society, maybe it was also helping with employment. But through the years, they became dissatisfied, maybe because they weren't getting the praise, they weren't getting the recognition, felt underpaid. And that's what's caused them to then seek a new change, to seek maybe quitting their career. And you may be feeling the same. Now, you may be thinking, well, Dwayne, it's all good that you felt all that satisfaction. You had all these strengths and passions, but I just don't have it anymore. But this leads me on to the blueprint. Yes, whilst I had the three key benefits that really helped me keep engaged whilst I was working in the corporate world, there was this simple personalized blueprint that I adopted that really helped me keep engaged, but also personally developed me financially as well. So to give you some more context, in the aerospace, I was focused more on the procurement world. And the career ladder there was become a buyer, then a buyer lead, commodity manager, then director, regional manager, et cetera, et cetera. But that wasn't for me, that was for someone else. And as a result, uh, there was many people pushing me to do that but it actually wasn't gonna lead me where I wanted to go. So this leads me on to the personalized strategy that I adopted, which was to invest in property that would then allow me to focus on the career direction that I wanted to take. Because I had the extra income from property, I didn't need to choose to go down a career and seek promotions that really were unfulfilling personally to me. So by adopting that blueprint, investing in property, it just really helped me to focus on the areas that gave me the most passion, the areas that gave me the most amount of access to learn and develop, that now I can use those same skills now in my business and in building my property portfolio even further. Moreover, I have several clients who are contractors, IT analysts, financial analysts, project managers who initially would just take on jobs and projects just because of the financial benefit, but actually didn't really fulfill what they wanted to do. They would just go from one project to another because of the uncertainty of the income. But by adopting the same blueprint of a personalized investment strategy in property, they've now got the freedom to choose the projects that you want to get into, to choose the jobs and career that they want to go down without having to feel pressurized by a leader or manager above them because they now have the ability to have options for themselves and make a decision on what option they want to take. Now, this goes beyond just the financial reward. It now allows them to achieve the personal reward and passion of a fulfilling career. And then when we go back to philosophy 
and theories, Maslow's hierarchy of needs even shows that self-actualization and self-esteem is the highest pinnacle that we can achieve in our lives. And actually the financials is right at the bottom. So this blueprint actually helps you get to the top of your motivation, the top of feeling passion and happiness in your life and career. But you may be thinking, well, why should I invest in property over, for example, crypto or just keeping your money in a savings account or a bond? Well, I'm not trying to give you any financial advice here and you're free to choose the direction you want to take. But in my personal experience, I've had horror stories of me making money from crypto, losing overnight. Even I had several thousands of pounds in a crypto account. And even to this day, I can't even get access to it because it's effectively being infiltrated and taken over. So yes, crypto has huge amount of returns, but there's a huge risk around the security and protection of your money and finances. And then when we look at putting money into a savings account or bond, inflation is at huge high levels and that inflation is eating away at the value of the money. Yes, you may have, for example, a hundred thousand pounds saved, but every year that money's going down in real value by five, 10, percent every year yes inflation figures and reports might say two three five percent but let's be honest in reality we can see where it is food prices i've gotten up by nearly 25 30 percent oil and fuel has gone up similarly so true inflation is really going to be eaten away from the value of your money and the future lifestyle that you want to be achieving if you just keep it in a in a bond account or a savings account but by investing in property, you invest in a hard asset, which gives you benefits on several fronts. One, you get capital appreciation. Two, you get a hedge against inflation. Three, you also get cash flow. And when we look at the return of investment, when you lose the correct type of leverage, you can get two to three times the return that you would traditionally get in property. And then with the right type of leverage, your return on investment is multiplied by two or three times. So by investing in property for me, it just helped me with additional income and security that allowed me to have the option and freedom to choose the career and pathway that gave me the most passion. And maybe that could be something that helps you. But can this work at this stage of your career? Maybe it's you have limited amount of time. Rather than a nine to five, you're doing a seven to seven. Or maybe it sounds too good to be true because you don't have hundreds of thousands saved. Well, I've helped teachers, restaurant owners, contractors, analysts, doctors, the list goes on. And they all come from different career paths, different time constraints. If you have 30,000 pounds or more and one to two hours available every month, then this blueprint can work for you. And so if you feel this could be of interest to you, click the link below in the description and you can get access to our investors toolkit, which is gonna give you an abundance of resources to get started. But know where to start and find the right type of investments for your budget could leave you wondering. There's several pitfalls that you could encounter when you're just getting started, which can make or break the blueprint for you. So watch this video where I reveal the biggest, if not the number one mistake that I recommend you avoid.